toolpath templates help automate the process of machining your parts. Here you can see a bunch of nested cabinet parts on a sheet. I have three different toolpaths which are machining to different layers. The layers are window, recess and outside and can be seen under vector layers. They are also different colours. I'll just simulate each of these toolpaths and delete the waste material so you can see what is happening. Okay, so if I edit the OG recess toolpath, you can see that it is machining along the recess vector layer, and I'm using a 6mm Roman OG tool. Now let's say that I wanted to use the same tools and toolpaths for all of my designs. The parts change slightly, but essentially the toolpaths will be the same. I can save this as a toolpath template, by selecting it. It is located under Toolpath Operations. I'll just save this into this cabinet folder. Now I'm going to open up another model that I have, which has some cabinet fronts on it, but it is not nested and is not on different layers. Now if I load in the toolpath template that I have just saved, I would like to use the same toolpaths to machine these fronts without having to go through the process again. The first thing I need to do is put them onto the same layers as the previous model. So select all of the outside, send them to a layer called outside. Do the same for the window cutouts and the recesses. Now I'm not concerned about the text on here, because I'm going to leave that at the default layer and the default layer is not going to be machined because I have not got a toolpath that's assigned to that layer. Next to the save toolpath template is load template. So I'm going to select that and find the template that I saved. And this will import the toolpaths and they will be colored red. This is because they need recalculating. To save time, Rather than having to calculate all of the tools separately, I can do them all in one go using the Batch Calculate tool, which is located next to Save Toolpaths. This allows you to select all of the toolpaths that you'd like to calculate with a tick, select Start, and it will recalculate them all. Now, I know that I'm going to have a problem here because I've made a deliberate mistake by renaming the outside layer to outside one. So this will not calculate. It needs to be the same name. So you can see on the outside, it said failed and it remains red because it has not been calculated. If I rename the layer to outside, and do the batch again, it will work. So it's important that you use the same layer names, otherwise this will not work. You will also need to set up the material if you want to run a simulation. This can be done by selecting Setup Material located underneath the Save Toolpaths. You can also import DXF files and do this, providing that you put the corresponding parts on the correct layers for machining.